Hi, Assalamualaikum, Mr. B here. Alright, insyaAllah, today we are going to harvest those papaya fruits. Let's go. Alright, I've got a tray with me and my cutter. So, just going to put it nicely in my pocket so it doesn't cut me. And we're going to climb the tree. Uh, unfortunately, the papaya fruits have been there for quite some time. Um, well, I see some white dots, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so we may get some fruits, but uh, maybe some are uh, not in good condition. But nevertheless, let's find out. Bismillah. So, only do this if you are comfortable with height. If not, you need someone to support you. Okay, I can see some ah white. Things looks like some bugs, but because uh, if you do not remove the papaya, I believe it's gonna further attract more of them. Ah, okay. Oh, you can see some wax, all right, which happens in fruits. We don't really see them and buy these fruits from the supermarket. Okay, just be careful. Right, we've got one. So this is what I meant. This white things here. Uh, I'm not sure whether is it uh, maggots or something. We're gonna wash the fruit and cut them and see what's inside them. Inshallah. So I've got one. We've got many more up there. Many more fruits. Inshallah. They've been up there for quite some time. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. What if I just turn the fruit? Oh, yeah, I can do that. Ah, no. It's a bit hard. Ah. Well, I've got to get, I've got to figure out how to get. Ah, yes. We did it. I did it without needing to, needing to cut. Okay. Alright. Again, be careful with the steps. Hmm. Uh well, we got one more up there, big one. Watch where you hold the cutter. You do not want to injure yourself. There we have it, one big one there. Allah, Bismillah. Okay. Three so far. But like I mentioned, no guarantee that it's in a... the weather we can eat them. Okay. Well, for all you know, the fruits that you buy from the supermarket, uh, when they are at the farm, they may have all these things around them. You see, so you never know. Then the farmers may have cleaned them well, so we do not see all these things on the fruit. Ah, Allah. Okay, we got four. Oh, you can see all the juices coming down, right? So four huge papayas. Let's see how they are. Whether they are any more. Uh, I think we got one. One more big one. On the other side. So let's bring the ladder over here. Alright. So some people say that uh Papayas, if you want to make it your life easy for you, is that you need to start to cut them down before the uh, before the uh, tree grows tall. When it's tall, then you need a ladder. But as people say, I'm not I'm not really confident myself, but maybe it's true. Okay, anyway, since I'm here, I can see all these white things. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure that these are, uh, yeah, 
some parasites. Let's cut this down. One more. Ooh. Okay. Now, how am I going to get to that big one up there? Hmm. So, please be careful when you do this. Uh, yeah. I'm just hoping that my climbing skills uh, will be of use when I do. When I climb up. Ah. Okay. All the milk coming out. Okay. These are all the wax from the plant. Right. That looks good. Maybe we can leave them, the rest, to grow some more. But like I say, since I'm up here, I will just do the tree a favor by removing all those uh, leaves that are uh, infected with the bugs all right and uh, that one oh there you go yep this one oh right above my head okay off you go uh, those leaves can be used again uh, as compost uh, or oh, sorry as uh, for mulching purposes we can easily put these leaves on the ground uh, above the tree uh, above the roots okay yep yep okay the rest uh, let's just let nature do its work so mulching is a process where we put leaves, uh, you know, cut, cut leaves at the base of trees or plants. The main, two main reasons is that uh, you want to um, reduce the amount of moisture loss. And the other reason will also be to, to become compost for the plant, for the tree. Alright? So... We got five papaya, right? Whoa. So let's take a closer look at the papayas. This is what I meant, these uh, white things. Yeah, I believe these are some parasites that are on the plant. But whether it is able to affect the fruit itself, we do not know. The same thing that we see over here is also found on the leaves that are cut. There you have it. Right? Uh, you also see that there are ants crawling all the way to the leaves, from the fruit to the leaves. So, I'm not sure. Maybe they are in a way, uh, you know, affecting each other. You never know. There is uh, another, um, you know, something for us to read up and find out more okay and also since we are here let's take a look at the inside of the leaves oh it's actually hollow right it's actually hollow so you may want to wonder how or you know where, where, when the leaves built made the food through photosynthesis photosynthesis um how do they transport so for the papaya leaf papaya leaf uh, probably the xylem and phloem is is in the this this part of the leaf stalk yeah it doesn't probably doesn't go all the way through i mean inside the leaf stalk itself that is pretty interesting yeah well you don't get to do the such things you know when if you do not uh grow your own plants grow your own fruit okay so again back to the back to the fruits we've got five fruits 
papaya yeah, we're gonna clean them and um yeah we're gonna see if, if they are uh, edible uh, or not okay all right take care